We're continuing to learn more about those killed on Saturday. Family and friends sharing photos and memories of the Good Samaritans. Parents, grandparents, friends whose lives were taken too soon. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith has been working to learn more about who the victims were. And Adrian, what did you find out? Well, Christy, this is Andre McNeil of Auburn and Roberta Drury. He, she is a native of Cicero. Now, Andre was inside of that Topps Market when he was killed. Roberta was leaving the store, and now both are being remembered by their loved ones. A person speaking on behalf of Andre's wife tells me he was at the grocery store buying his son, who had just turned three years old, a birthday cake. He's described as a loving and caring father, husband, brother, uncle, friend, and community advocate. Roberta Drury, just 32 years old, the youngest of the victims, had walked out of the grocery store she visited often. Her sister-in-law tells me she lived only two blocks away from that tops on Jefferson Ave. Roberta's sister Amanda describes her as vibrant, friendly, and always quick to laugh. She tells me it's hard to wrap her mind around Roberta being gone. Roberta moved to Buffalo around 2010 to care for her sick brother with leukemia, his family, and local restaurant. But before that, she grew up here in central New York and attended Cicero North Syracuse High School. Superintendent Dan Bowles writes his community, quote, The news of the shooting so close to home is devastating enough, but to learn that a member of our North Star family fell victim to an extremist act of hate is unfathomable. He continues, quote, The violence, intolerance, and hate that has has become so pervasive in our society needs to end. We must come together as a community and teach peace, love, and compassion. Roberta Drury leaves behind her mother, father, two brothers, and her sister. Her funeral is going to be held here in Syracuse. No word yet on arrangements for Andre McNeil.